big sale on again today. Bring your wallets and purses, everyone. Anna, you travel to this world too? It's inspiring how you managed to stay cheerful despite being separated from your family. Oh, I am way too mature to let a little thing like that get me down. My goodness, these shirts, they have your face on them. That is incredible. You think so? The way they turned out, I was on the fence about whether to sell them at all. <sighs> you have to sell them. I'd buy ten. Well, if you like them, that settles it. I'll print up hundreds and make a killing. Your fighting style is a wonder to behold, Alchrist. Where did you learn your technique? Well, my father forced a strict training regimen onto me as a child. It's not a fun story. I was trained by my own father, just like you, Alchrist. Seems we have that in common. I'm not worthy of such a favorable comparison. But I would like to hear more about your father. There are so many wonderful people among our ranks. I have no right to stand beside all of you. That's not true, Alchrist. I'd be struggling if it weren't for you. I still have so much to learn, so much growing to do. I hope you'll keep fighting by my side. That seems impossible. But if you truly need my help, I'll lend you every bit of my strength. Good day, Lucina. Thank you for your help in battle earlier. Have you time to chat today? Of course. Knowing one's allies can be useful in combat. So tell me all about yourself. The more I hear of the ruined world of Elise, the more I realize how sheltered I've been. I disagree. You fight as hard as anyone. Firinae will never meet the same fate as my home. What do you think we ought to do to achieve true peace, Lucina? Explore peaceful ways of solving problems to begin with. Violence should be a last resort. I'm only one person, but I'll wield my sword when necessary to protect my loved ones. On that score, we are of one mind. Let us keep working toward peace, however we must. Hey, Lucina, if you have time, do you want to come to the market with me? That sounds delightful. I'm so very interested in seeing the settlements of this world. I don't recognize any of the foods you eat, Chloe. Are they common in your world? The stuff I just bought is folk food, which is a little off the beaten path. I love it, though. The presence of so many different foods proves that this world hasn't yielded to despair. I agree. Still, more and more of those stalls close down every day. We'll put a stop to that. Let us return light to this world, so that they may reopen once more. And so all the best foods are back on the menu, right? That's something worth fighting for. You're really strong, aren't you, Lucina? I must admit, I'm actually quite envious of you. There's no need for envy, Citrine. Anyone can grow stronger with the right kind of training. Lucina, would you mind if I watched you train? I'd love to learn from you, if that's possible. I wouldn't mind at all. If my efforts can help you grow, then observe as much as you like. I know what I need to do, but I can't get my body to obey. I may be weak forever. You won't become strong overnight, but you are stronger today than you were yesterday. Don't give up, Citrine. You'll keep growing, bit by bit, day by day, until you reach your goals. My goals feel so far away, but you're right. I will soldier on, Lucina, with you as my guide. You are a destined monarch like me, Lucina. I'd love to hear your perspective on ruling. Of course. I've never actually ruled a kingdom, but I would be happy to compare philosophies. It's incredible that you managed to keep fighting as your country fell to ruin. I'm not sure I could. I've seen how fierce you can become, Diamant. I know you would fight bravely till the very end. If Brodius' remaining forces fall, the kingdom could be destroyed. I can't bear that thought. I know how hard it is to leave soldiers behind. For their sake, we must claim a swift victory. Brodia will not fall into ruin, Diamant. 
Never will you suffer the same anguish that I did. Thank you, Lucina. That's reassuring. You may never claim a throne, but you are a great leader. However charming I may be, Lucina, I still find myself getting nervous around you. I don't see why, but I'm sure you'll move past it as we get to know each other. I may be adorable, but you clearly have something that I don't. A kind of panache. Do I? Well, to be frank, sometimes I wish I had your superb elegance. I've been watching you as we fight together. I think you've been developing some panache. You think so? I'm so glad! Actually, I've noticed lately that you can be quite elegant yourself. <laughs> Perhaps you and I have been rubbing off on each other. We do make a fine team. <laughs> we do. Everyone, I'm very sorry if Gold Mary and I are too much for you to handle. I'm sorry for using your ring to fight for the wrong side, Lucina. Can I make it up to you? No need for that. As far as I'm concerned, you've done more than enough already. There must be something I can do for you. Whatever it is, just name it. I'm fine. I have all I need. But if you are worried, I sincerely hope you'll tell me. You seem out of sorts, Hortensia. What's on your mind? I want to be friends with you, but I don't know how. Can you just tell me what I have to do? Have we not been friends all this time? That would be news to me. Really? Oh, that's such a relief. Why didn't you say so sooner? Your sword looks an awful lot like Marth's, Lucina. Is it actually the same blade? Good eye. The guard and pommel have been replaced, but it's otherwise the same sword. I can't get over what a privilege it is just to lay eyes on a legendary weapon like Falchion. Would you believe me if I told you its name actually used to be Pointy Demon Spanker? Pointy Demon Spanker? <laughs> Was Falchion really called that? Yes, by me. A friend of mine repaired the weapon, and in his honor, I gave it a new name. He was less impressed than I'd imagined he would be. I ended up changing it back. Makes for a great story, though. Now I want to give my own weapons fancy names. Your wyvern's adorable, Rosado. You know what would really top off her look? Please, stop suggesting the bear hat. I hate war. Everyone's so caught up in fighting that they don't even care about what's cute. All the more reason to win peace as quickly as we can. You're interested in being cute, right, Lucina? I have never given it too much thought, but I don't see why I would reject the notion. Great! I'm always striving to be the cutest, so let's put our heads together. We can trade tips. Sounds like a fine idea to me. Thanks to you, I can continue to serve the Divine Dragon. I want you to know I'm grateful. I did not do it for thanks. I did it because it was right. My friend had a wyvern like yours. She had a very special name. He loved her dearly. I never thought to give mine a name. Do you have any suggestions? I felt prepared for it at the time. But the loss of my father has been a stubborn wound. I know the feeling all too well. If you want to talk about it, please know I'm here. Thank you. Would you mind telling me of your father? It might help to hear your experience. I don't think I'm over the loss either, even now. But if it's useful, I'll gladly tell you everything. It seems we share a certain preoccupation, Emblem Lucina. Idleness makes you restless. I've never thought of it quite like that before, but yes, I do think you're right. It must be difficult for you to fight boredom without the ability to handle corporeal objects. I wouldn't say that. Listening to people talk offers me a good deal of entertainment. I see it now. You are the type to ignore your own pain for the benefit of friends and allies. I don't think of it in those terms. 
I just want to be useful to the people I care about. It was intended as a compliment. The way you live is impossible for me, so I find it impressive. It's not impossible at all, Zelkov. You're fighting for a better world, the same as I am. Your skill is just what I would expect of an emblem. Will you face me in mock combat? I've been admiring your swordplay as well. I'd be delighted to spar with you. All your training has paid off, Kagetsu. You were spectacular in that last battle. I am glad to hear you say so. And even more glad we are such good friends. What drives you to grow stronger, Kagetsu? It is very simple. If I am to climb this mountain we call life, I wish to see it from its peak. A noble goal. That simple determination might be the key to your success. And you, my friend and rival, are one step along my path to greatness. Prepare to be surpassed! Why are you carrying so many tools, Lapis? Are you on your way to fix something? I'm patching a wall. Someone knocked a huge hole into it. Who could have been so careless? <sighs> I grow so attached to things I make by hand. But that just means I'm more careful with them. Hmm. A friend I once knew told me that giving tools their own names can have a similar effect. Lucina, you came from a harsh world, right? I was wondering, what did you eat to survive? We had rationed food, so we ate that for a time. Hunting was also an option. We even ate bears. Really? I do that too! Sometimes I... Oh, wait, uh, sorry. That must have been hard. I... I didn't... It's okay, Lapis. I'm happy something like that can bring us closer together. Tell me more. I've heard you write very funny novels, Jade. May I read some of them? Of course, Lucina. I'm not sure they'll be your kind of humor, but I hope you enjoy them. Your novel was so funny, Jade, when the main character had to leave home. I was in stitches. That was supposed to be an emotional moment. You must have a, uh, unique sense of humor. Have you finished the rest of my novel, Lucina? I'm curious, which parts made you laugh? Oh, I laughed at so many parts. <laughs> <laughs> there was that one scene, <laughs> and that other one, <laughs> and the ending. <laughs> you laughed at the ending? Really? This is valuable feedback. I may run some edits by you. Yes, please. You're a fantastic writer, Jade. I'll be looking forward to more. You seem to be well-liked by all, Lucina. I think that's simply splendid. Is that unusual? I'm sure I have the normal amount of friends, no more than anyone else. Indulge me. Would you rather treat someone as a big sister or be treated as such? I'd feel a bit uncomfortable being treated that way. But it would be nice to have a sister figure. Louis, what are you getting at with all these questions you've been asking? Must I be getting at anything? I have a natural curiosity about the way people socialize. So you like people watching, I see. But why the intense interest in me particularly? Why would I not be? Your circumstances are so unique that I find myself utterly captivated. You're staring pretty hard at that flower. What's up? They very rarely bloomed in the world I grew up in. This is a novel sight to me. It sounds like you lived through some pretty hard times. Is that how you got so toned? I hadn't thought too much about it, but that's certainly possible. Hey, Lucina. Is there anything you wish you could do once this war is over? Hmm. Before I sleep in the ring once more, I'd like to visit some place I've never seen. I'd also like to see as many flowers as possible. I like them. They represent peace to me. Then I'll show you around my hometown. If you like flowers, you're gonna love it there. You are the Prince of Firene, yes? My ring was held by your nation a thousand years ago. Really? You were in Firene back then? Huh. Well, I'm sure glad to have you back.
If you were Firinay's ring a thousand years ago, how come you were moved to a different country? Lumera wished it so. Her intent is unknown to me. Still, she foresaw some reason for a change. You knew the Firinay royals a thousand years ago. Were my ancestors... strong? They were strong indeed. But at that time, their strength could not save them. I will not allow that outcome a second time. You are all under my protection. I won't make you go through that a second time either. We'll stay standing to the bitter end. Tell me, what does one do all day to attain musculature like yours? Well, if you're me, you read and fish. Is that the answer you were looking for? It never occurred to me that reading and fishing could result in the perfect body. Those are just my hobbies. The muscle comes naturally for someone with my constitution. So even emblems work out. But do you really need to do it all the time? I must always strive for more. My body must be perfectly honed if I'm to save the world. Doing too much will wear you down, not build you up. Mm. How about we take a book break? If that is what you advise, then very well. Would you read to me from one of your favorites? I couldn't help but notice your left eye, Lucina. That design is so mysterious and super pretty. And your eyes have such a majestic shimmer. Is that a trait that runs in the royal family? I got my eyes from my mother. It's a sign that I have what it takes to be Queen of Solm one day. The brand in my eye runs in my family as well. I'm so pleased our royal families share this. Does the royal family of Solm have other unique characteristics beyond the sparkling eyes? No, we're pretty normal, really. In fact, not everyone in our family even gets the cool eyes. Well, with or without a royal mark, being part of a ruling family can be a burden to bear. True, but I like our eyes and what they stand for. And hey, we can bear any burden together. Panette, I must apologize for earlier. It was silly of me to scream so loudly at the sight of a bug. <laughs> Not to worry. No doubt you were weary from battle. Besides, it was cute to see you flustered. <laughs> it's a giant bug! I, I don't know what to do! Oh, now calm yourself, Lucina. I shall drive it away for you. Panette, please. You must teach me how to conquer my fear of bugs. It's so embarrassing. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. Revealing a bit of weakness can be charming. Should a bug appear again, I will simply take care of it for you. That way, you can rest easy. Thank you, Panette. That is reassuring. Next time I see a bug, I'm hiding behind you. Lady Lucina, I understand you used to fight wearing a mask. I might try wearing one myself. I only wore one to hide my identity. But I do think a mask would look dashing on you, Marin. Your fight style is so cool. It makes me want to come up with an epic new move of my own. I'm not sure you need a new move. But if you do, you should call it the Swordy Poke Poke. The more we fight beside each other, the more I see how cool you are. I... I want to be like you. Oh, if you only knew how I see you. You carry yourself with such confidence. I truly envy that. You do? What a nice thing to say. I guess we've got a mutual admiration thing going on here. I guess we do. I hope we consider each other not just allies, but friends. Now and forever. So you're not just a prince, you lead a militia too. My father did as well, you know. Your pops led a group like my Sentinels? What a great guy. I'd love to throw a party for him. We still haven't thrown a proper welcome party for you, have we? We've got to get on that. That's very nice of you, Fogato. I would love to take part in such a joyous social gathering. I see you're finally starting to relax, Lucina. It's a good look on you. I am. I wasn't aware that my behavior had changed. Yeah, you were pretty guarded at first. But now, that charming side of yours is starting to show. I have you to thank for that. 
Your friendship has helped me feel like I can truly be myself. Lucina, the legendary sword you wield. I wonder, what does it taste like? Falchion is not an ingredient in a recipe. But now that you ask, I can't help but wonder too. Do you enjoy watching me prepare food, Lucina? I do. I've learned a lot from watching how you wield your chef's knife, Bunei. After observing your knife skills, my sword skills have gotten a fair bit sharper, Bunei. I'm pleased to hear that. Especially since the dish I've been working on was inspired by you. My aim is to make it just as enjoyable to gaze upon as it is to taste. I'm so happy I was able to inspire you. I look forward to enjoying this feast for the eyes. You know, Pendreo, I happen to be friends with another rather unpriest-like priest. You're friends with an unusual priest like me? No way! You've got to tell me all about him! What a unique training regimen you have. The violent jumping and odd lurching moves. Oh, I was actually... dancing. But since you were so impressed, let's just call it training, okay? You've had to leave your church unattended for a long time now. Does that worry you? I don't have a choice, Lucina. I have to focus on this fight. If the world dies, faith dies with it. I see. In my world, near the end, shows of faith were rare. And for some, were abandoned. Please, let me say a prayer for your world. May the souls that were lost find peace at last. I was told that you're a celebrated hero, Amber. May I hear about some of your adventures? Sure! I'll tell you my favorite legends right after I get through my coolest alpaca stories. Hey, Lucina! Get a load of these new clothes! Isn't this the best getup ever? The alpaca cross-stitched into the center is so large. I love it! Your fashion is truly inspiring! Hey, Lucina! I'm heading out to find a legendary weapon. Wanna come? A legendary weapon? If we had something like that, we could turn the tide of this terrible war. I imagine the quest ahead will be most challenging. What's your plan? Well, I know hundreds of legends. If we look for all of them, we're sure to find one that's real. Is it true you're Lord Marth's blood relative? I didn't know emblems could be related. Yes, I am his descendant. So I try to show that I'm worthy of that lineage. I'm like you and Lord Marth. Us stewards of the dragon serve generation after generation. That means your ancestors must have fought beside the divine dragon a thousand years ago. I've been thinking about family trees and how, even after I'm gone, my line will go on and on. The stewards will too. You'll be part of their history, and they'll strive to be as heroic as you, much as I tried to become someone King Marth would be proud of. You've inspired me, Lady Lucina. I'm going to show all the future stewards how to be a hero. Lady Lucina! Please, let me help you out! Chores, errands, leave them all to me! Fram! Are you alright? You got so excited you fell right over. Every time I try to help out, I get so energized I mess things up. It's super frustrating. Don't worry. We all make mistakes. What matters most is that you don't get hurt. I really, really wish I could be more like you, Lady Lucina. You're so mature and in control. Not really. I've been in trouble a few times after accidentally breaking things while training. And Fram, your enthusiasm is part of your charm. I hope that never changes. I'm really glad to hear that, Lady Lucina. If you like that I'm peppy, then peppy I'll always be! I've heard you're a knitting expert. I'm terrible with any delicate work, so consider me envious. <laughs> Most are surprised that a man as large as I is capable of something so... delicate. With knitting, you can make sweaters. Like, say, one with a big picture of your face. I... I mean, yes. But I am not so sure who would willingly wear such a garment. 
Watching you knit, I am reminded of my mother knitting when I was little. Oh, she must have been a spectacular woman. By the by, the sweater you asked for, the one adorned with my visage, it is finished. Who shall I give it to? Oh, splendid! I imagine the Divine Dragon will love it. I can't think of a better gift. Thanks for pulling me out of hot water earlier. It worked out that way this time, that's all. Next time I might rely on you to save me. You really outdid yourself in the battle today. Your presence was invaluable. Oh, Lucina, you make me blush. But I did feel like I was contributing a little more. I'm so tired. I can't even lift a finger anymore. You did outstanding today, Sean. But don't work yourself to the bone. I understand wanting to save as many as you can. But if we lose you, all that stops. You're right. I'll be careful not to let myself end up as the next one in a sickbed. I couldn't help but notice the look on your face while you watched me dance. Your dance looks so incredibly different from dances in my world. It was entrancing to watch. As someone new to our world's art and culture, I wonder, what do you think of my dancing? I don't know much about dance, but I do know that when you perform, I am filled with courage. There's something I have to say to you, Lucina, and that is, thank you. I'm not sure what I've done to earn such heartfelt gratitude, Seedal. Telling me that my dancing gives you courage, it meant so much to me. It's all I ever hoped for. I told you the truth, Seedal. Your dance has the power to fill anyone from any world with hope. That's a delicious looking dessert. Did you make it, Lyndon? It was one of my experiments, yes. But don't worry, the taste is world class. Would you tell me more about your world today, Lucina? Your curiosity seems endless, Lyndon. I hope some of it rubs off on me. How were you able to withstand living in such a desperate, hopeless world, Lucina? In all honesty, even with my stubbornness and pride, I'd have succumbed without my allies. So that's where you drew your strength from. Tighter bonds may be what this world needs. Then it's time we forge them for ourselves. Once we have that, nothing is impossible. Wouldn't know it to look at you, Lucina. But you fight with the intensity of a hardened veteran. Indeed. I've seen more harrowing battles than I care to think about. You're one of the best fighters I've ever seen. I'd love to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you someday. Once we're done with all the real fighting, I'll indulge you in a proper bout. Let's cancel that bout we spoke of, Lucina. I've changed my mind. Fine by me. May I ask why? You obviously take no pleasure in battle. It was selfish of me to ask. I appreciate that, Saphir. Here's an idea. How about you take me fishing instead? I do not require your concern. Lady Vale needs you more. I'm keeping an eye on Vale, but my worries are equal for you, Mavier. Your presence has caused Lady Vale to smile more. Thank you. There's no reason to thank me. Vale's smile is your doing, Mavier. Who I was, what I did, I do not regret those actions so much as the actions I did not take. Were I more diligent in my efforts as friend and protector, might Lady Vale have been happier? The past is out of reach for most, yet the future can be changed for any of us, you included. I'm happy to help. From now on, let's ask ourselves, what would bring Vale happiness? Didn't a fell dragon ravage your world? You must hate it when I'm around. Not at all. You look different, you act different. You are your own dragon, Vale. I know Papa is doing awful things. Still, I just can't bring myself to hate him completely. I understand, Vale. The father-child bond is so powerful. Do not worry. We'll stop him together. Lucina? 
What was your father like? He was strong, wise, and fair. More than anything, he treasured his bond with his allies. He sounds so... good. My papa was always alone, always staring at some far-off place. He may not have been there for you, Vale, but I am here, and I will always support you. I swear. Thank you for the hope you showed me back then. If not for you, I might have given up. I only gave you a small push. You'll be carving your own future for yourself. I worry sometimes if we're really capable of winning this war. I know things can seem bleak, but as long as you hold out hope, you can drive the dark away. Long ago, I was driven from my home, but I'd have died if I stayed. All would have been lost. I see what you mean. Sometimes you have to withdraw. But did you win in the end? Yes. I made a new future, and you can too. So never give up until your last breath. Understood. Then no matter how hard things get, I'll believe that they'll turn out for the best.